things up, heating things up here in the kitchen. We have D. Lincoln from D. Lincoln Prime. The queen of steaks, I heard, is what you're called. Is that How true? How about that? And I'm throwing a curveball today. I know, you're doing seafood, but, but that's fun. Uh, the Star in Frisco, so that's a fun place to uh, have a restaurant right now. It's been great. It's been really a, a good launch so far. Opened yeah. in December and things are going wonderful. Nice, nice. Okay, so you're cooking up seafood. We got some scallops today. Some fresh scallops, yes, we are obviously a prime steakhouse, but we're doing a lot with seafood, so mm -hmm. we thought we'd go to the lighter side today. So okay. we'll okay. do some scallops and um, make some uh, house-made pesto. Oh, pesto. Okay, so what do we have to do? Well, what do we have to do here? You want to help me out here? Yeah, sure, start? sure. Okay, sure. so let's start with putting a little bit of the oil in. Okay. And then throw a little of the slithered almonds. Almonds, okay. Then I'll put a little bit of the garlic. Nice. Let you do the kosher salt next. Okay. All of this or a little All bit? of it. All of it. Yeah. Okay. Salt's going and, in. And we're going to go with a little bit of the Parmesan cheese. Oh, I like that. Okay. About that. And, and then what else? there's your fresh basil. And oh, there's your basil. Okay. Nice. And so then here we go. And that's go. it. That's all the ingredients. That's all we're going to huh? do. All right. Turn it on. I'm going to get a little bit of the fry in there. Basically, this all blends up, and this is what it looks like. And so we got a little blender going. Of course, we don't want to leave that on too long for, yeah, our, uh, for our guests. <laughs> but this is what it winds up is, looking like, right? This is the finished pesto, so you can do it in a bowl. Of course, you can use the pastry bag if you want to get a little bit fancy here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you do the um, pastry bag. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. And then when we're going to move over here, we've already got some of the heirloom baby uh, marinated tomatoes. What do you marinate those in? And we mix those with a little lemon juice, a little oil, a little salt, a little pepper, Ooh. a little parmesan. Okay. And um, then, of course, we got our scallops going here. So we have some fresh, beautiful uh, those scallops. Those are pretty. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. What's well, the so key? are you. So are both of you. What's the key? What's the key is the just scallop. a little tiny bit of oil. Like, literally brush your pan. Oh. Not floating in oil. You want to brush your pan, okay. and then kosher salt is going to give you that crisp, nice topping. Right. Oh, so just kosher it. salt, a little brushed oil, and then just get your pan very, very hot, and then you come up with this beautiful sear, about four minutes on each side. Right, because if you overcook it, it dries out, tastes like a shoe. It's very relevant. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you've tasted a shoe worries me. But. So, so when, when folks come to your place, do they get the laugh for free? They get the laugh for free. I'm in the dining room all the time. Oh, good. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so you put the pesto there on the bottom. So yes, so then you want to take a little bit of the marinated tomato. So you want to come right down the center here. So pretty. So I'm going to put a nice mm. amount of that. Okay. And then we're going to put our beautiful little seared scallops right on the top here. So famous for steak, but if you order seafood, nobody's going to say. Nobody's going to complain. They're not going to make fun of like, you. Know, just do a little nice little compliment. Oh, and I love this. Just These just are little, just a little Parmesan crisp, and we make them in the house. So, All right. Yeah, so we're nice going to put this recipe and a link to D. Lincoln Prime at the Star in Frisco on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Really excited about this. All right. We will be right back with a look at your forecast and I bet one last check of that traffic problem. <laughs>